What's going on people? Welcome to GFX Capture. Today's video is a response to a question that was asked in one of my previous videos. So the friend was basically asking, he's trying to render the composition. It only renders one of the sub comps, not the whole template. So in this video, I'm gonna answer the question and hopefully you can also benefit from it too. So before we start, I'm just gonna show you the previous template that I edited and I made a video on it. So just to show that it is complete, I've made all the changes within the, the sub comps and then we will proceed to rendering it. So let's play it first. As you can see, I have edited all the sub comps and I've added and inserted the media myself and changed some of the text as well. So it is fully customized and it's fully edited. All the way to the last comp, which is composition number nine or sub comp scene 09. Now, so before we start, before we start rendering, before we start exporting the file, make sure that you're always rendering the final comp okay you may have worked on the sub comps for example scene one scene two scene three etc etc but always make sure when you're when when you come to the final rendering and exporting the uh, composition make sure that you're always over here you haven't you're not inside for example let's say you're not in here your your scene one scene two scene three or any of the sub compositions because if you go here and try to render it it will only render and export this particular sub comp or this scene okay so let me give you an example if i'm in scene zero seven which is the sub comp and i'm gonna export it to render queue okay what will happen is that it will only export that scene 07 for me okay now let's give it a go you can also see it has already automatically picked up scene 07 so that's a clue number one you can also see in here what your media encoder has picked up to be rendered because why because you were already in scene 07 you were not in the final comp so if you're in scene 07 it will think that you're only trying to render this one. This is good if you only want to test your sub compositions and see what the output looks like, etc., etc., for your complex projects. But once you've done your editing, once you've done your customization and everything, the final comp, when you want to render, always go to the final comp and make sure you're in this composition rather than any sub compositions to render. So let me give you an example anyway. As I was saying, if you're here, in scene 07 which is the sub comp go to media encoder and let's do this so it will automatically pick up your sub comp and when you want to render it let's give it a go okay so the rendering is finished let's go and have a look uh, open the file and you can see this is the point okay so i hope you have actually understood maybe where you were going wrong or maybe where you were making mistake it's very easy to overlook this point but please make sure that you're always in your final comp or your your main comp there are three ways to render and export your composition into a video file like a mpeg4 or something like that the first one is you go to export and you add the media or the, your project to media encoder queue. Okay, so let's give this one a go first. And once you've done this, just make sure that your After Effects and your media encoder are actually the same version. If they're not the same version, you may see issues or you may not be even able to make this work. So please make sure that they are both at the same version. Okay, now when you go to media encoder, it will ask you where you want to save your file. So what I want to do is your output file have a look here currently just to let you know I am using version 23.6 build 62 okay this is for the media encoder so what I'm going to do is the output file which is going to be my mp4 mpeg4 file I want to save it at a location that I want 
So I'll just click on this and choose my destination and give this a file name, save. And the format that you want by default is, as you know, H.264, but you can choose any other file that you want. And all you need to do is simply click on this green button to start. And as you can see over here, it will show the time remaining and the current progress as well in this bar. And you can also see which render you're using here. So CUDA is by default, depending on how you set your After Effects and Media Encoder. But if you have a graphics card, it will select this. If not, if you have an onboard uh, graphics like an Intel, then it will default to your processor graphics. Okay, so it is done. What we're going to do now is just click on this file here and it will open up the folder where you've saved this. So what I'm going to do now is to quickly play this and to see what the result is. Of course, you can see the size of this file as well. So 44.4 meg. OK, keep that in mind because we're going to come to this point um, later on. So when we play it, this is basically how it's looking like. OK, really nice, really smooth and it's very quick. OK, I'm going to close this and we're going to proceed to the second type of exporting this. Right, close this and I'm going to close the media encoder. And now we're going to go to export and export and add to render queue. OK, now you come here and you see the render queue over here. Always, always, so you have a few different um, options. I have explained these in my previous videos. If you haven't seen them, please go and have a look. I will qu quickly go through it. Make sure that you're on best settings. Log is errors only. And the output again is I want it H264 and the output exactly the same like media encoder where you want to save the file. So click on it and it will open up and I'm going to say render queue and save type as MP4. OK, so let's do that and simply click on render. OK, so you can see the progress here. So once it's done. What you can do is go to the folder where you've saved the video and over here this is the video that we have now remember what i said about the size of the file in the media encoder it came out to be 44.4 meg in the render queue it came up to be 65.5 exactly the same file exactly the same format everything else so bear that in mind if you're running short on your hard disk space or your storage just make sure that you go for the media encoder instead of the render queue but let's play the render queue file anyway just to see if there is any difference we notice or anything else let's play okay there we go so it's exactly the same same format, same quality, everything is the same. Just make sure you go for the media encoder rather than the render queue. Unless you have a very particular reason that you want to use the render queue, which is fine. But I would always go for the media encoder. So I'm going to close this. Now, the final way is to go into Premiere Pro and pull in the project directly from after effects as a after effects project and it will convert into a premiere pro sequence for you so the way you do this is go into premiere pro like i have done it here i've created a new project called how to render and i'm going to go to file and i'm going to go to adobe dynamic link and go to import after effects composition now i'm going to go to the project file i have created in after effects And I'm going to go to my final comp, not my sub comps. And I'm going to go to the final comp, select the file and click OK. Now it has actually pulled the After Effects composition and convert it into 
we're going to now convert it into the in on a timeline and when you play it now it is essentially bringing that project for you so what i'm going to do next is the beauty of this is whatever changes you make in after effects will automatically now be updated in premiere pro so let me show you how go to your after effects and i'm in sequence one for example and in here instead of urban fashion i'm just going to change it to gfx capture okay click outside of it go back to premiere pro and there you have it so this is very good if you're making changes in after effects and then trying to check how it looks in premiere pro so it in real time it is making the changes for you all you need to do is just to make sure that you have selected the imported the project through dynamic link and then it talks between after effects and premiere pro in real time okay so these are all the three different types of rendering and now you can simply go once you've done the editing and everything else simply go into export and you can export it as a media or whatever you have it you know the rest of it okay so this is all for now if this video was useful for you and if you are new to the channel don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment if you have any questions and i will see you in the next video thanks bye